Hello and welcome to a brief but hopefully comprehensive uh, tutorial on how to set up and sail SPD pirate ships. Now these ships come in many shapes and sizes uh, from small corsairs and gunboats to large galleons and frigates uh, but for right now we're just going to be showing how to set up and sail a corsair which is a great ship to uh, learn with. I have bought more than a few for some friends of mine to get them into it. Uh, it's fast and it's easier to sail through uh, through the wind when it's facing you, which is something I'll touch on later. Ironically, the hardest part of uh, setting up these ships is actually getting it into the water and getting it going because the ship comes with a couple of different attachments and you want to line them up right uh, so you're actually heading into open water and you don't want to screw it up uh, by like moving one part of the ship while the other part is just left levitating in the world and I'll show you how to avoid that. First we're gonna go to uh, my boat selection and this is a great way to organize your inventory too by the way if you have a category of stuff that uh, you access a lot that's very specific uh, I'd make a folder with an exclamation point in front of it so it shows up near the top and that has all my stuff in it so this would be exclamation point boats. I find my Corsair, the SPD Corsair, and I toss her down. Now you'll notice that the boat comes in two separate parts like I alluded to, a bottom part and a top part. And so we can't just select one and move it or the other part you know will just stay there and that's no good. So we go down to edit and then we hold shift down and we left click on the mast and now it selects the entire ship. Now we can pan the camera up, hold down control, and grab the little blue line, or the blue circle here, and we can rotate her toward where we want to go. And now we can position it a little farther out with the arrows. You just hover over the green arrow in this case to move it this way, and the red to move it left and right. But that's, that's good enough. You don't want to touch the blue arrow because that deals with the verticality, and you don't want to move it up or down because it's already seated where it needs to be vertically. So then we close that, fly over, whoop, right click on the deck and select crew. Now we don't want to be by the cannon because we're going to be piloting the thing. So we stand up and make sure we're over by the little tiller thing. It's going to ask us if we want to attach uh, something to our avatar which is the top half of the boat. We click yes and we wait for it to do its thing and there we go now to start sailing all you gotta do is type slash one raise and that will raise the sails and get us going now you'll notice there's a HUD here that has wind angle, wind speed, ground speed stuff like that now there's uh, this concept called sailing through irons that you're gonna want to become uh, proficient at. You want, you're going to want to uh, know what that means. Irons is where the wind is coming right at you. So you, not only does it slow you down, but it'll eventually stop you. And that wind angle on this ship is, I believe, between positive 36 and negative 36. It's like around a 70 degree area. But as long as you're not in that area, you're going to be fine. Now, you have sail angle here, and you want to keep the sail angle roughly half of the wind angle. And the positive and negative part there doesn't matter, it's just the number. Now, we increase the sail angle by hitting either W or up arrow. I prefer W because I like the WSAD for movement. And you'll see as we tap it, it's increasing 69, 79. 89. That's about that's good enough. It doesn't have to be exact, but that's roughly half the wind angle. And you'll notice our ship is picking up speed and we're uh, we're cruising. It's all good. The cannons here can be elevated and fired. They take a little while to reload. You just left click to fire them. Now, they won't fire on a sim that doesn't allow resing. Uh, this one does, which is really nice. It's one of my favorites. It's called Aeronautica. I have a little hangar here. I love to fly around, dogfight, and all that, but this is all about sailing, so... And we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. Now, we're going to turn through the irons here. 
So we need to get up a good amount of speed. You'll see the wind angle is changing. 150, 136. And I'm not really worried about the sail angle right now because I'm just turning. But we're going to go through that dead zone of 37 to negative 37. And right here you can see we're already losing speed. And I didn't have enough speed in the turn to, uh, to get us out of this. So we're kind of dead in the water. But there's a way around that. You can type slash one kedge L and you will deploy a kedge anchor which will move you about 10 degrees to the left. To, to go right it's one slash one kedge R. And you can only do this every few seconds or so but it's handy if you get caught you know in the dead in the wind and you need to you need to turn it's not that great in a combat situation if you have another ship shooting the hell out of you but for our purposes it works fine it's not exactly the most exciting part of the video but i'm just going to keep going until we get sailing again just so you can see that it works. Yeah, we're already in the negatives now. Negative 5, negative 13. Doo doo doo. Negative 29. Almost there. One or two more should do it. This is actually a lot easier on the bigger than on the bigger ships because the bigger ships are stronger and have more cannons, but they're slower. So you really have to, you know, plan ahead. All right. So we're negative 48, which is good enough. We're going to cut the sail angle down to maybe, oh, I don't know, 20, something like that. 29 is good. And now we're picking up speed again. Uh, we're out of the irons. I highly recommend if you're going to learn how to sail to come to Aeronautica. You can just search for it in uh, under places. A uh, really friendly community. A lot of aircraft enthusiasts, but they they don't mind someone like me sailing around in a pirate ship from antiquity. Uh, you got to listen to me sip my coffee there. All right. Well, uh, that should do it, and I hope this has uh, been instructional. And if you have any questions, you can just fire me an IM. My name is Trent Denya in Second Life, D-E-N-J-A. All right, until next time, until next time.